One day, Miss Three and Master Four were playing on the beach. They saw an old chest with some stones in it. The stones had some strange pictures on them. Miss Three and Master Four were very curious. They wanted to find out more about the pictures on the stones. So they went to ask Sir Zero. Oh, they are all numbers. They don't look like numbers. I thought number looked like that. These are numbers written by people from another time and place. Do you want to find out more? Yes. This stone has numbers written by the Egyptians many years ago. Are you ready to go on a journey to learn more about numbers? Oh, yes. Well then, follow. We are now in ancient Egypt, and that is my friend Dissi. She will tell you more about how the Egyptians write and use numbers. Welcome to Egypt. Thank you, Issy. We found some numbers on these stones back home. Sir Zero says these are ancient Egyptian numbers. Can you tell us more about them? Oh, that is a big number. Let us start writing Egyptian numbers from the number one. One is one line, two is two lines, and three is three lines. That is easy enough. We just add one line, each time we add one more. Oh, my brother Ephraim is coming home with his sheep. Can you count and write the number of sheep in Egyptian numbers? There is 16 sheep. Yes, there are 16 sheep. But when the numbers get bigger, we invent new pictures. Instead of writing 10 lines, we write an inverted U. So we group 10 lines together. 10 lines become an inverted U. That is so cool. But I still do not recognize the number on this stone. We have more pictures for bigger numbers. These are the other pictures in the Egyptian number system. They look interesting. Can you tell me what they are? Sure. Let me show you. The coil of rope stands for 100. The lotus flower stands for 1000. The bent finger stands for 10,000. The tadpole stands for 100,000. The surprised man stands for one millions. Wow! Now I know what number is written on this stone. It is 100 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. It is 124. Would you like to learn how to write Egyptian numbers? Oh, yes. That would be so fun. Indeed. Now that we know how to read the numbers, it is nice to learn to write them. Thank you Isi and Ifram for teaching us ancient Egyptian numbers. Yes, thank you and goodbye. It is time for us to go to ancient Babylon. Bye.